Let's compare TuneCore versus DistroKid. I did a video comparing TuneCore and DistroKid a while back. That video is still good and you can go and watch that. I'm making this one and it's the same, it's titled the same TuneCore versus DistroKid because TuneCore just released a new pricing model and it does ch change some things. Let's break down this video into five categories. Let's first cover the distribution. Second thing would be cost. Third thing is features. Fourth thing is getting paid. So because I use both of these distributors, we're gonna take a look at one of my songs and then look at the cost per stream on TuneCore and then look at the cost per stream on DistroKid and see if they're the same. Last thing would be customer service. Do they offer customer service? And if so, how good is it? I do have some discount links in the description for both TuneCore and DistroKid. 20% for TuneCore, 7% for DistroKid. Because I use both of these platforms, I can get those discounts for you. They're in the description if you want them, but you don't have to use them. Let's get into the first category, distribution. If you just wanna to get to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Deezer, Tidal, Amazon, like all the biggest streaming services and the most popular Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, that kind of thing, both are gonna do it. DistroKid's gonna get you there. TuneCore is gonna get you there. TuneCore claims to distribute their music to over 150 plus stores. You can see on their website here, just down here, view all 150 plus stores. So you can go here and actually go through all the stores to dial in on that specific store you're looking to get on. On DistroKid, they don't actually specifically say like the 150, like. TuneCore does, but they do say here on their website, we'll get your music into like the main ones, Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Pandora, Amazon, Instagram, YouTube, Tidal, iHeartRadio, Deezer, and then they say at the end here, plus a ton of other stores and streaming services. You're gonna have to double check if you want something very specific, but if it's just the main ones, they equally compare on the distribution level. Subcategory here on distribution is just the speed of release. When you sign up to TuneCore DistroKid and you upload your song, your artwork, and the file name and all that stuff, how long does it take for you to get that song on Spotify. And DistroKid here, it says in stores uh, 10 to 20 times faster than any other distributor at a fraction of the price. So let's jump over to TuneCore and they say here, upload your music and artwork, then give the review process breathing room. It takes TuneCore roughly one business day to review your release. So I would recommend either way, if you're looking to release music on the streaming services, give yourself at least a minimum of two weeks to get it to the distributor so they can go and upload it. And usually you'll always have it for your release date if it's two weeks in advance. I wouldn't say TuneCore is better than DistroKid and I wouldn't say DistroKid is really better than, than TuneCore there. Let's move on to the next category, which is cost. The biggest thing, because this is like saying, okay, which one is cheaper, which one's more expensive, which one gives you more bang for your buck? Let's first go, let's just, like touch on DistroKid again. Let's just get our heads wrapped around these three tiers and then let's compare it to the new tiered pricing plan on TuneCore. To keep things simple, now both distributors offer unlimited amount of releases, okay? So it's just, you're just paying once a year for something. 20 bucks a year, you can only have yourself as the artist. You can upload unlimited amount of songs, unlimited lyrics, Spotify verified checkmark, and collect earnings. Something that's not great about this plan for 20 bucks a year is you can't customize your release date. So you know how I was saying like, prepare your release date two weeks in advance. You can't do that. You wanna plan your release date. So you're kind of pushed into this plan if you want that, which is $36 a year, but you can have two artists. So you can have a side project or you can share with your buddy the customizable release date, but also the customizable label name. So in Spotify where you go to the song and you go to song credits at the bottom, it will you can customize that name instead of it saying like DistroKid or TuneCore or something, you can have your own artist name or you can have your own label project. It just looks a lot cooler with the customizable label name. Label is you're getting into like, yeah, if you are an independent label or you are managing a lot of artists, 80 bucks a year, you can have up to 100 artists, which is incredible. Unlimited amount of releases for 100 artists. And then you just get everything that you would have in Musician Plus. Like you can customize release date, label name. The thing is, there are a lot of not necessarily hidden fees, but there are a lot of add-ons that, I mean, they're not, they're upfront about it and they're not like trying to scam you at all, but I'm just saying that these things can add up to your annual cost that you might not consider when you're just looking at the, the pricing plan. For example, like if you want YouTube content ID, that's gonna be five bucks a year. Um, plus 20% of that YouTube ad revenue. More on that when we get into the extra features. This discovery pack, 
99 cents a year. I mean, it's not a lot, right? 99 cents a year, but these things like add up. Social phone number, which is actually a really cool feature. We'll get into that more. Store maximizer, get into that more. This is a good segue to getting to TuneCore because TuneCore doesn't really have a lot of these add-on features. There are some which I'll get into, but uh, there, it's not as as many. The cost here is in USD. Let's jump over to TuneCore. This is public information. Just go to TuneCore.com slash pricing. Four options on TuneCore. We do have a free option, free signup, but you can also release your music for free to specific social platforms. So just hovering over this question mark here, you can see it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So you can distribute to those social platforms for free but you only uh, retain 80% of those royalties. So you have to let TuneCore keep 20%. Pretty good deal though, to just have that for free. You don't have to pay anything for that. You get a bit of customer service here, and then you get some sales reports, TuneCore rewards, master classes, and YouTube official artist channels. Not a lot, but it's free. You can't complain with that, right? Let's jump to the three next plans. We have rising artist, breakout artist, and professional artist. Let's kind of compare each of those uh, tiers here, these three these three columns versus these three columns here. We have musician, we have a musician plus and label. So let's take a look at musician. Uh, 20 bucks a year on a distro kit with TuneCore, it's already cheaper at an annual level. It's only 15 bucks a year. So that's five bucks left every year, which will add up. One thing you do get on the rising artist that's a, something uh, to spotlight here is the, the scheduled release date where you do not get this in the distro kid uh, musician plan. So very helpful if you're an indie artist and you want to schedule your release date to gain some buzz and exposure on social media for your, your song, you can do that on TuneCore with this cheap plan at 15 bucks a year. The other thing to spotlight is customer service. So 72 hours, that's pretty fast, three day turnaround time that you can guarantee to get an answer from TuneCore to get help with your release. So for just comparing the rising artist to this musician plan here, kind of have to give TuneCore the win for cost. You get more bang for your for your buck. Let's go up now here to Musician Plus and kind of compare that to this breakout artist. So annual fees on each. We have 30 bucks a year for TuneCore, and then we have 36 bucks a year for Musician Plus. So again, $6 cheaper there. Same thing, you can release unlimited music on, on each TuneCore and DistroKid for that. You can schedule release dates on each plan here as well. That's when DistroKid opens that up on this plan, right? You can schedule your own release date. Something that DistroKid offers here that TuneCore doesn't is you can uh, customize your label name. That could be something that's really important to you. You don't get that on the TuneCore breakout artist here. Down here, you can see custom label name. If that's something you're really vibing with and it's important to you when you go to song credits in Spotify, for example, and it says distributed by TuneCore or distributed by DistroKid, if you don't want that there, you have to have the custom label name feature, which is not available in TuneCore uh, on this breakout artist plan, but it is in the Musician Plus plan in DistroKid. Another thing, uh, that DistroKid offers in this plan that TuneCore doesn't is you can get two artists or bands. So if you have your own artist project, but maybe you have a side project or you want to buddy up with a friend, you can get two artists on this plan at $36 a year. With TuneCore, you don't, you just get one, uh, one artist here. That one's a bit tough to compare. I mean, you get a bit more with DistroKid, but it's $6 more annually. You get a bit less with TuneCore, like you don't get the label name, but you get the customer service 48 hours and you get a $6 less at an annual fee. There's a lot of moving parts here. It really depends what's important to you and what, what features are important to you. Let's go up to the professional plan in TuneCore and then the label plan uh, in DistroKid, which are very similar. So 80 bucks a year, unlimited artist, unlimited music, customized label name, customized release date, kind of like you get everything in DistroKid here. Very similar to TuneCore, but uh, much cheaper, right? We have 50 bucks for TuneCore a year and we have 80 bucks or so $30 cheaper a, a year. That's, that's significant. And you also get things like 24 hour customer service which is very fast for the, if you have like a hundred artists, you to get 24 hours customer service. Official sales reports, you get premium sales reports. The sales reports on TuneCore are really strong. I'd say they're a bit better than, than DistroKid. If sales reports are something very um, important to you, you get those on, on TuneCore. You also, sorry, you do get them on, on DistroKid. You get reports, of course, but uh, the 
the experience and granular data that you can get on TuneCore is a bit better, in my opinion, than what you get on, on DistroKid. Continuing on with TuneCore, you also get access here to a pro panels and expert advice sessions and also promotional opportunities. I'm not sure how much of this actually follows through. Like if you can actually, you can't guarantee any sort of promotional opportunities here, but you never know. And in my honest opinion, I don't think that's something you should look at in your distributor. You should kind of have your own marketing uh, and PR campaigns on the side working alongside your distributor. Also does come down on how much music you plan to release. The more music you release, the better value you're going to get out of all this stuff. So $50 a year, if you're going to release 100 songs, is worth like the value of you releasing all that music. Let's move on to the extra features now. So the extra features TuneCore has versus, versus the extra features DistroKid has. And both like to point out what features each platform has versus the other. For example, TuneCore, when you sign up, you can see here, get more with TuneCore than any other distributor. So you have TuneCore rewards, music publishing and sync, TuneCore streaming certifications, best in class artist support, and you get verified artist check marks. Let's look on DistroKid for a second, just look at some of the features they have. They also say down here, uh, unlimited backups, instant Spotify verified check marks. See, see both say that they offer that. Definitely some things you wouldn't get on TuneCore. And then over on TuneCore, definitely some things that you wouldn't get on, on DistroKid. Again, depends what you're really into, right? Like if you, if you want best in class artist support and you want music publishing and sync opportunity, then TuneCore would be something that you'd want. Let's go over the features. So on TuneCore, some of the cool ones are the TuneCore rewards. They're kind of building a community of people that are already doing it and have experience and are professionals in the industry that can give you advice. Uh, next thing is be your own graphic designer. I like this one a lot because I'm not a graphic designer and I usually would have to pay out for that. So with that $30 a year or also the professional one, you can get this graphic design creator thing. But if you are really are an artistic person that likes to maybe not look so stock, then I wouldn't say uh, this is going to be something you're going to be into because there's a limit to how creative you can get with a graphic design gener generator like this. Next feature on TuneCore would be music publishing, which is a really cool feature, something that DistroKid doesn't have. As an independent songwriter, when your music is sold, streamed, or played on the radio or on the internet, you can be getting like royalties and income from that, and they're going to help you collect those royalties and pay you out. Definitely a valuable feature to have if you plan to go in that direction where you want your music to be played all around the world, which I hope you do, because that's going to help you become a more successful and maybe more fulfilled artist. Jumping over to DistroKid now, a big thing DistroKid has that TuneCore doesn't have yet is automatic split payments with your co-writers. So if you wrote a song and you're both on DistroKid, then DistroKid can manage the, the payment splits of royalties. So you don't have to pay out any of your co-writers or if you bring a producer in and split the royalties with them. DistroKid just manages that, but you both have to be on, on DistroKid. TuneCore doesn't have that yet, but they do say on their pricing page here, yeah, right here, artist revenue splits coming soon. So does that mean next week? Does that mean next year? Does that mean in two years? We don't know. But to put it on your pricing plan, I would say it should be available sometime this year. So under the goodies uh, navigation, if you have a DistroKid account, you're gonna have some features that are similar to TuneCore, but there are some that TuneCore doesn't have. And so this one is, is big that a lot of people use to promote their music. It's called a hyperfollow link. This hyperfollow link is kind of like your Spotify pre-save campaign. You can share a preview of the song and get people to, to pre-save it before it's released. So very valuable to have to to build buzz of your song, get people to pre-save it before it's released. In general though, when it comes to features, I'm not really like both TuneCore and DistroKid, they're music distributors. So they get your music on the music distribution and then you want them to pay you for the song, the streams you get on those streaming services. But all the little extras and stuff they have, they're they're great and it's it's cool, but it's not what you should necessarily be there for. You're there for them to be the middleman to get your music on the streaming services. Let's get into the fourth category, which is getting paid now. So let's just look at a song of mine that, I've, uh, that I have on TuneCore, and then let's look at a song of mine that I have on DistroKid. Take the number of streams and divide it by the cost of the total payout you got so I can get the cost per stream. Let's look at the cost per stream on TuneCore, and then let's look at the cost per st stream on DistroKid. It's really not that uh, much harder than that. However, the big caveat here is 
this is just me. So I don't have a broad selection of, of data here. Definitely something you have to consider when you're watching this video. The other thing here is I've heard before that based on where a stream is coming from, the cost per stream can be different. So if a, strong, a song is coming from New York City, that might be a higher payout cost per stream versus something coming from, I don't know, Asia or South America or something where you might have typical more bots or streams that that can lower the cost per stream. So there's there's tons of stuff that might affect all this stuff, but this will kind of just give us a little bit of a general opinion. Okay, let's start with DistroKid. I'll just do this song here that it made $175 at 80,992 streams. So I will pull up a calculator and I'll go $175 and 71 cents. Divide that by 80,992 which is a cost per stream of 0 0.00222. Let's round it up, 0 0.0022. Let's do that same thing. Now we'll do it for TuneCore though. On TuneCore, I'm gonna look at a song that had 34,355 streams that earned $127.79, which is a payout of 0 0.0037. A lot of moving parts, but in my context of, of songs and where people are streaming, TuneCore has a higher payout giving both claim to give 100 percent of royalties and i believe that uh, you got to trust them but tunecore does seem to have a higher payout per stream another thing to note there though is when tunecore is collecting the royalties and when distrokit is maybe the tunecore updates their streaming database a few weeks or days earlier than distrokit does and so that reflects things I'm trying to say you can't like guarantee that this is the right cost per stream. Take this just with a grain of salt, right? Okay. People that are on TuneCore, if you can put your cost per stream in the comments and people that are on DistroKid, put your cost per stream in the comments. Then if we can get a bunch of people doing that, uh, then we'll, we can see like, hey, uh, is it just me or is it does this happen to, to everyone? Let's look at the final category here, customer service, which is kind of important if you're a real beginner. I remember when I was just beginning while well, releasing music, didn't really have any idea what I was doing. And so customer service was important to me at the time because I was like, I had so many questions. Let's start with TuneCore first. You saw that already a little bit on TuneCore's pricing plan. Like you kind of pay for customer support. So on the professional plan, 24 hours customer support. So send them an email, you'll get back a response in 24 hours. So pretty simple here. Like it's just written in stone. If you have a free artist account, you can still get five business days worth of customer support, which is pretty decent if you're not paying anything. DistroKid, they do also have customer support. It's not built into their pricing plans. So you can't be rest assured that you're going to get guaranteed response times um, based on the how much you pay annually to them. There's customer support, so you can submit them a, a request like this. It does first run you through a chat bot. So let's see. Hi, Dave, um, the chat bot. I can help find ways to solve most of your issues as well as get you in contact with their support team randomly. Like I'm just kind of trying to see if Dave is really smart or how I can actually get in touch with someone. Kind of cool. I mean, Dave seems like a nice little bot here. Can I talk to someone? So, I mean, TuneCore customer support baked into their pricing plans. DistroKid doesn't really have customer support built in but does um, have a free chat bot that you can use. Obviously a ton of stuff involved in comparing DistroKid and TuneCore. And I've said this before in this video, it does depend on a lot of different things and what's important to you. You can try both of these distributors out and try a song for each and then work through the, the platform of each one with two different songs. And then you're gonna fall in love with one of them. You might not, you might go to CD Baby or Amuse or United Masters. There's discount links in the description 20% for TuneCore, 7% for DistroKid. You can just use those and get a little bit of a discount before signing up to them and try it out. Either way, I uh, hope to see you in the next video.